Você vai achar que é Dorise. A common misunderstanding among non-Muslims in the Western world is that Islam discriminates women in various forms, including in the mosques. Is it true that women are not allowed to pray in the mosque according to Islam? Let the good sheikh explain. segregation of the sexes. And men and women are not allowed to freely intermingle. So in the absence of a separate facility, they pray at home. Like in this mosque now, they just provided that there is a hall at annex, that they are in the mosque and yet they are out of the mosque. So the only thing Islam says is that every obligation which is incumbent upon the man is also incumbent upon the woman. We pray five times a day, the male, women also, same. You fast for one whole month, the women must be the same. Charity, if you have your own money, you give the same charity as the man is supposed to give. So there is no exemption from any religious responsibility. But religious reason that culturally we don't intermix men and women. The reasons are, of course, that uh, the women, the Holy Prophet Muhammad has said, that the greatest blessing for a man is a virtuous wife, a woman. But that woman can become the greatest distraction, you <laughs> suppose in our prayer. The lady was standing in front of me, and if you saw rows and rows behind each other, we were standing shoulder to shoulder. And uh, we said, Allahu Akbar, and the lady in front, I noticed, you know, 24, 36, 24, 36, and the mind goes, mm, what a lovely figure she's got. Instead of concentrating on God, we start concentrating about the woman. Then as we stand shoulder to shoulder, because the Holy Prophet Muhammad has said that when you stand up for prayer, you must not leave gaps between you and the other person so that the devil might get in between you and your brother. Now the devil he was talking about was not the guy we see in the art gallery, the urban museum complex, second floor. There's a huge painting there by some great artist where a beautiful woman, well proportioned with wings, she's got a wand in her hand and she's directing the devil to go to hell. And you can see that devil flying off in the picture. You can see him flying off with wings, uh, ready complexion, horns, and with a tail with a barbed hook. Now, Muhammad wasn't talking about one like that. Because, as says, you know, if anybody saw one like that, you feel for dear life. <laughs> me too, me too. Now I go on stand by him to be tempted. But now, the one he was talking about was we ourselves. Our racial pride, our arrogance, our riches. I'm white, he's black, I'm rich, he's poor. He says, you know, you don't have that shoulder to shoulder. I can't get away from my brother, and my brother can't get away from me. You are there. But instead of my brother, my sister is standing next to me, for example. Yeah. And I say, Allah, Akbar. And the night, cushy, warm feeling. <laughs> I'm wondering whether she's not the greatest. <laughs> and so, so these are distractions for each reason. Islam says, to give them a separate but equal facility. Separate but equal. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to Islamica to support our efforts. Thank you.